All right, are you ready? We are gonna reveal the most boring color ever. So actually, let's back up. <laughs> the other camper, uh, we did white, mm -hmm. we did a charcoal color, Yep. and like a couple grays, and then I think you accented with like color. With black. <laughs> it was black. pretty white and black, yeah. <laughs> and we did that because Dawn didn't want any color in the old camper, so we didn't put any color in it. No, I don't remember, I, anyway. Well, my memory is you wanted color in it, and I said, eh. That's what I thought. Okay, I thought, okay, that is so, actually what I thought. Yeah. So, in this camper, she said she wanted to put color in it. Yep. And I said, bring on the color. So, Tom actually picked out this color, and we're going to show it to you, and you tell us what you think. It's, it's a little loud. It's louder than I am. Alright. Ready? So, we are in our newly renovated, not completely finished yet, gorgeous <laughs> 2013 camper. We are, it's really coming together. We hit a couple of snags this week with um, buying a couch that was too big <laughs> to fit in the door of the camper, and then also trying to find just the right accent color to put on the cabinets. Yeah, and um, tight deadlines, which is usually our MO. Um, <laughs> I think in the beginning, I'm always really optimistic that we can get through these things and we can just get her done to the end. Yeah. And then about like 70% of the way through, I just like, there's no hope anymore. <laughs> I'm just. Tom's not a finisher. Luckily, I like to do the final like details and stuff, but he's always so gung ho at the beginning of a project and then it's like, woo. But do you think if we didn't have like a tight deadline, I think even if we had more time, it would still come down. Oh, we would never. If we didn't have a deadline, I would never finish anything. Yeah. <laughs> so we started out this past week. Um, we wanted to get some color on the cabinets, and so you know we did that thing where you look at little tiny paint samples, and Tom picked out a shade of green that I thought was pretty cool. It looks really bright. Right here. Ooh. That's the color. It's kind of bright. It's funny, like, does it look bright on camera? Cause it does. You want to see? Sure. Oh yeah, that does look kind of bright. So you got to think though, this is black. Yeah. So it'll all be trimmed in black, and the counters are black-ish. Yeah, they're dark. Uh, all the appliances are black, the walls will be white, and then you guys have seen the floor color. Mm -hmm. So I think it should look pretty good. I think so. I mean, worst case, if we're just, not, we'll just we just paint over. We'll just sell it. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> it would be too much work to paint over. We just yeah, we'll just sell the camper. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> So our goal for, I don't know, the next couple days here is, well, day, I don't know. Well, I hope it's not a couple days. Is to get the base cabinets painted, so that'll be this green color. We're going to leave the uppers white because I want it to still feel kind of open in here, but that needs to be painted white too. But to get all the painting done so that we can get all this masking pulled off, and then we want to show you the fun stuff. We want to show you the couch that we got, the tables that we're going to put in, um, you know that stuff. <laughs> so uh, Tom's going to keep working on painting and I'm going to watch him. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> How far did you get before you're like, this is Dude, way too ugly. far. Way too far. <laughs> I got, I'd say 60% of the kitchen done, uh, part of the pantry cabinet and part of the uh, front bedroom closet. Yeah. And then I just, I was sitting on the floor looking around while I was painting and I'm like, Gosh, it's just not grown on me. Like, yeah. I originally I'm like, if I just get some more on, get some more on. Yeah. And I'm just like, gosh, it just clashes with the white so much. Like it's. And I think you kind of think like, okay, it'll dry a little darker, mm -hmm. or once we get more on, it'll look just a touch darker. I still think if it would have been just a little bit darker, it could have worked. Well, the thing that I found that I really didn't like about it was it needed a, a gray underlining yeah. in it because of the colors of the floors and everything else on the couch we're sitting on yeah um it needed a a gray line in it and it wasn't gray it was just yeah. like it was bright crayola green <laughs> well and i think i don't expect tom to know this but like when i've tried to learn a little bit about interior design or design you have your main color that's supposed to be 60 percent. so that's like our white your light gray it's a neutral color and then you have a 30 percent color and the cabinet color is that 30 percent color 
in the camper and then you have your accent color and that's only supposed to be 10 percent. like that's literally just little pops of color here and there and so i think that green could have been an accent color i think if we had like 10 percent of it here and there it could have been kind of fun but as like our main color it was a lot way too much all right guys we all know how much don hates to say i told you so <laughs> So Tom spent about three hours painting green out here and on the cabinet doors that are set up in the garage. And it just this didn't sit well with me. I just yeah. kept, I kept putting this color on and I kept thinking, why am I still putting this color on? <laughs> I don't know that this is going to look good. So we just got back <laughs> from the home improvement store again. And it's late. <laughs> and it's late. So we got a new color. We got a color that makes my heart happy. <laughs> Does it? It does, it really does. Yeah, so Tom picked out this color. So what we did was Tom and I split up and I was like, you pick colors, I'll pick colors, and then we came back together, so. I held mine behind my back. Cause I was, I, <laughs> I think a lot of times I think that Dawn just tells me yes because she wants me. <laughs> to humor you? Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't want you to get, you know, 50% no, so painting two, again and not the like The two it. colors that we both picked out, I had mine hidden, she pulled hers out, and I held mine next to hers, they were like, they Almost really the exact same color. I think mine was a shade darker. Yeah. And then we're like, you know, everything always looks darker in the in the camper, so let's go with the lighter shade. Yep. So that's what we did. So this is our new color, and I think it's gonna look really good. It is gonna look really good. So Tom is gonna get repainting, and Yay. have we have we told our friends how much I love to paint? <laughs> You guys like my hot rod? <laughs> Tom wanted to show off his fancy painting station here. Yeah, it's what it's what the 1973 Firebird's good for right now. <laughs> so you've been painting the doors out here, uh -huh. and you can kind of three our, see our three different colors we're using now. Yep. Our new cabinet color. These are the these are the upper kitchen cabinets and the bathroom uppers. Mm -hmm. And then those are for the little divider, like the TV wall between our bedroom and the mm -hmm. rest of the camper. And we've used this paint color um, before. It's Earl Grey by Magnolia Homes. And then the white is Simply White by Benjamin Moore. And I don't know what our new cabinet color is yet, but we'll post it. But we like it. So well, why don't we go, um, let's go Jade ahead and- Jade Resort. Jade Resort. Um, it's like we're on vacation. <laughs> oh, that's what we're gonna be doing. Uh, well, why don't we go ahead in the camper and uh, we'll show you how things look in there because it's really coming together. Okay. And we have all of our hinges. Oh yeah, Tom painted the hinges too. <laughs> Which at first we thought, oh, there's not that many doors. And then we laid out all the hinges. I was right. like, holy cow. We didn't paint them here. I just moved them from yeah. the cardboard over to here. They're your, also here too. Your dad doesn't know his car is being used as a drying rack. They would either. actually dry when I put them over there. Yeah. I just needed another flat space to right. get them through. Yeah, looks good. Yeah. And how do you like this shade? I love it. Yeah. It's gorgeous. I really like it. With the white and the black, um, I think it looks mm -hmm. it looks awesome. Yeah, I know. I love it. But then the next thing that Tom was so worried about was, but is it going to go with the flooring? Right, because I had it covered up for like a week with mm -hmm. all the paper and taping. And I was I was getting really worried that we were doing all this beautiful work, <laughs> but I couldn't see it against the floor. All right, this is the moment of truth. We have no idea how the flooring is going to look with the paint colors we've selected. All we know is we liked the flooring before, yeah. um, but we also just changed everything around the flooring. Yeah. So... Tom's worried. I'm not worried. I think it's really great. I'm super great. worried. I'm worried about everything all the time. <laughs> all the time. All the time. <laughs> Truly. I'm a, I'm a wonderful person to live with. <laughs> Ooh. Tom, this is going to look awesome. I don't know what you were worried about. Look, you can just see a hint of it. It looks awesome. Oh, yeah. Yay. Oh yeah, that does look good. It looks awesome. It looks good against the green. Yeah, it looks good with everything. What happened when you rolled up the paper then though? I was super happy. Yeah. It looked very good. We really like this flooring. So again, it's a vinyl plank. It's like a hickory pattern. 
and it just it has warm tones in it but then it still has the you know current like grays yeah. and a little bit of black in it and, and it's so. it's very light which so our very first house we put walnut floors in gorgeous floors but after like five minutes after you cleaned the floors you could already see dust mm -hmm. um and so then this house we put like a what is it like Oak. a oakish which is lighter than walnut but you can still see a lot of dirt and stuff on them so then we keep thinking well Go ideally <laughs> we would like a really light wood floor <laughs> and so when we found this floor it was a discontinued floor i was like man if they had enough square footage to do our whole house <laughs> we'd never have to clean ever right? <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> uh but they didn't yeah so. and i thought it would look a touch too rustic in our house but i do i love it in here and then we also painted um the wall that has like where the TV was supposed to go. Mm -hmm. um, we painted that, it's called Earl Grey by Magnolia Homes and we'd use that color in our house and really liked it. Yeah, it's actually the same color we put in our bedroom in our house. And so we did that divider wall between the front bedroom and the rest of the camper and then the bathroom door, mm -hmm. the same gray. And that goes really well, I think, mm. with the flooring and everything else too. Yeah. So we got the painting wound up. I mean, the white on the walls took many coats. Like. Yeah, like the primer did a really good job, but mm -hmm. as soon as you put that white on, well, the thing we found out, so the green uh, covered extremely well. It did a really good job, but then I did white after the green, and I realized that uh, the white wasn't covering very well, but it was a it was a cheap paint. Yeah, but you know, in our other camper, I had high quality white paint, and it still took quite a few coats. So I don't know if it was white or if because it's white or if it was the paint. It is worth getting the higher quality paint though. We mm -hmm. are learning that. Yeah. We had got a bunch of gallons. I got the inexpensive because I thought we were spraying it on and I knew you just go through a lot more. So that's why I got the inexpensive for mm -hmm. this, but get high quality paint. It's mm -hmm. worth it. <laughs> and I'm not going to be, well, I can't, I was going to say I'm not one to brag, but I totally am. Uh, I, I painted about 80 plus percent of this camper myself. Tom like went to town. I, I kept being like, Hey, if you can wait till tonight or wait till tomorrow, I'll help. I'll help. And he was like, no, it needs to get it done. It just <laughs> needs to be done. So he did it, and it looks awesome, though. I, I mean, you did a great job. My other concern with waiting too long was everything was still taped around yeah. the windows and the floor, and I knew that the longer that sat, the more likely it was going to peel paint with yeah. it, um, which we did have in some spots we had to touch up. So we got the painting done, and then it was time for the fun stuff, like cabinet pulls and decorations. Oh, I, I thought you meant like leaving fun stuff. <laughs> well, that'll be that next fun part. And so I didn't tell Tom this, but he had asked if I would just order some black cabinet pulls. And then I was looking at the black ones, and then I saw these, and I was like, these would just look awesome in here. And so I ordered these, and I showed them to Tom. The problem was... I opened the box, and I said, yep. Wrong size, Don. <laughs> they were way too big. So the joke was on me um, because they won't even fit, even if Tom would agree, but. These are five inch poles. We needed three inch poles for the camper. And what was your thought to this? No. <laughs> it was like a hard no. So I was like, all right, I won't even push it. So these are going back. I still really like these and I still think they would look awesome in here. Tom said no, so I just ordered different black ones in the right size, so. So we gutted the slide. We are sitting on a couch, so we have successfully got a couch into the camper. <laughs> but the problem was, we bought a couch, I was running through Menards, going to the lumber department for something, I don't remember what, and I saw this little bitty couch with a little chase on, mm -hmm. and I thought, oh, that would be perfect, perfect in the camper. I called Don quick, I had the measurements rough in my head, I'm like, hey, just double check, these are the dimensions, yep, it'll fit, cool. Like, that's like perfect for the spot. It's got a cute little chase on it. Um, so I buy it, throw it in the back of the truck. I am pulling out of the parking lot and I, then it hit me. I thought, <laughs> how am I gonna get that into the camper? It's only got a two foot wide door. Yeah, super small door. So anyway, I keep driving home. I didn't go back because I'm like, I'm sure I'll get it in. Uh, not, not even close. No. So then we returned to that couch. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> and then I found another couch. Do you want to tell them the story about the other couch I found that we are sitting on right now? <laughs> well, the funny part was that <laughs> this is the exact same couch 
that we had in our living room before we got we our furniture. two of these exact same couches. Yep. Came with the same... Ugly pillows. <laughs> same pillows. <laughs> so we gave those couches away a year ago. They were gross. Like on video, you can make them look fine and they weren't, but they had just like... They had been really used dirty. by kids. Yeah, and worn. Yep. So we had listed them on Marketplace. Um, we had said like a hundred bucks and that like, gal came to pick them up and then we're like, you can have them for free and it was fun. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we didn't have those couches anymore. And so then Tom was looking for a couch that we could put here and he was like, you're not going to lose. It's the exact same couch. A like, like exactly. Same color, same pillows, everything the same. Yep. But the good thing we knew about it was that it was comfortable yep. and lightweight. Yep. Tom can move this, like he can carry it by himself. Oh, you're saying shoulder. I could only carry a lightweight couch? <laughs> no, I'm not, <laughs> but you've moved them several times. Like we had taken them one time to a I, friend's house to stage it and you just like carried yeah, it out the door. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> yeah. And so that was one of the main reasons we did gut the slide. I know not everyone will agree with that, was that we wanted a bigger couch so we had more couch seating in here. And then I really wanted some flexibility with the dining area. So I had seen um, on North and South, they made over their camper and they gutted it too. And so they had a table that they put in the slide and then they would actually like bring it out to the middle and put their stools around it and then eat around it. So it w I thought it was cool that they could kind of move it around. It could be up against the wall and, and kids could sit at it or you could move it out and everybody could fit around it. So we kind of got talking about that and then Tom had a really good idea too that we could get a smaller table and put it underneath it mm -hmm. because there is no kitchen prep space in here. Well, like, so we are talking about bringing our Instapot and uh, air fryer with us because, I mean, you can cook like almost anything with those two items. Yeah. But there's nowhere to put them. Like we could, I mean, while, while it's cooking, like while we have places we can store them while we're yeah. traveling, but while it's cooking food, it needs to sit somewhere yeah. and there's not a space on the counter big enough for either of those items to sit. Yeah. So I thought like, well, if we got a table that's a little bit less wide and not so deep, we could pull it out into the kitchen, use that like an island or, or yeah. whatever, like a prep table. And so we found another table then that would fit. It it won't fit under it. Tom has to raise up. I have to up. raise up the table we got mm -hmm. and then we'll slide it under. Or we could pull it like in front of the couch and have extra yeah. table space here. So yeah. I am... I'm, I mean, we haven't used it yet, obviously, but I'm excited to try it out because... I think it's going to work really well. The things that opens up by having us be able to do different setups, I think is going to be cool. Mm -hmm. And I mean, that dinette was just really bulky. Like, there's no way around it. I like that visually now. It makes it feel more open and spacious in here, too. Tom doesn't care about that. That was just me. Care. It feels a lot bigger. Oh, so I'm sorry. I, did, I got off the story then of getting how we got the couch in. Oh, right. So we tried to bring it in the door. We knew it would be close. Tom had measured and we're like, it's within like two inches, two inches that it could, could fit. Make those two inches go away. Yeah. And so we tried. Like, we really tried. Wasn't going to go in. Tom was yelling, pivot! Pivot! <laughs> Didn't work. I don't think that worked for Ross either. It did not. Um, so what was the other option? Take out the biggest window in the slide and bring it in through the window. Yep. Which so. it still barely fit. Yeah, you still had to like kind of wedge it and push it. Uh, to be honest, if any of you guys ever see our camper in person, you can see I actually ripped it back here. Yeah. <laughs> Getting it through the window opening. Yeah. If you had someone stronger on the inside, it might have been more helpful, but you had me. You weren't so. pivoting. I wasn't pivoting. <laughs> But, needless to say, we did get it in. Yep. It's comfortable. I think it fits in here well. It's never coming out. It's, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's staying with the camper now. And I know, so we did then, this couch folded out, had a fold out, pull out bed in it. The dinette folded down to like a bed. And so people have asked like, hey, if you have foster kids, are you bringing them camping? And we would love to. And that is allowed in our area if we get permission. Um, so someone could definitely sleep on the couch. There's plenty of room if we want to set up like a pack and play or something like that. So mm -hmm. I don't feel like we've totally ruined our sleeping arrangements now. I think we'll make it work. Nah. So. And Tom also got all the window boxes remade and we just painted them white because we thought it would just be better if they kind of blended in. But the blinds are in here now. The color doesn't really match either, but that's okay. We're not putting new blinds on. So they are in there and good to go. So what we have left, um, we want to put up 
some kind of backsplash material because when Tom sprayed the primer on, it made it actually very obvious that the wallpaper is like wrinkled. <laughs> yeah, when I primered it, now it's white. It's yeah. super obvious that it's wrinkly all over the place. Mm -hmm. So uh, we want to find some kind of backsplash to put back there. Mm -hmm. um, and otherwise, what's left? Uh, we got to do the table thing. We got to mm -hmm. put. We have the tables. I got to put them together and make the thing for the other one. We got, we have stools and boxes. I got to put the stools together. We also want to add some more like organization and mm. like storage solutions because that is what we found the first time we took this camping was like the storage was not ideal in here so tom's been working on some of that and has some good ideas for that so yep. we'll show you that next week so that's the plan otherwise then uh we're gonna pack this thing up and we will be hitting the road pretty soon um we have no idea where we're going where we're gonna land each night um, I told Tom if he wants to plan that out, he is welcome to do that. Otherwise, I'm totally fine with just hitting the road. And Tom doesn't have time to. Uh, so? <laughs> Tom is currently taking the top end of a 6.0 Power Stroke excursion apart because yeah. that's actually dictating when we leave. Yeah. So what Tom thought was me a simple project on the excursion got a little bit bigger, but mm -hmm. now yeah. I got the top end of the motor ripped down. So. Good fun. <laughs> Tom keeps saying, should have got a motorhome. Should have got a motorhome. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> nah, I think we should have just flown somewhere. <laughs> yeah, that does sound Rental good. car. Yeah. But it's not the same. And we have, I mean, just, I mean, the little bit of camping we have got to do, I think it's worth the headaches. It's worth the headaches I've had. I don't know if Tom might be. If you still agree. My headaches are different. Yeah, they are different. So anyway, we'd love to know what you're up to this weekend. I'd love to know if you like those brass poles, if you think they would look good on here. We're not going in there. <laughs> They're going back to Amazon. But we hope you have a great weekend. We love you and we'll see you again next week. Bye bye.